in previous video we have seen the position of lanthanides and actinides in periodic table now in this video we are going to discuss the chemistry of lanthanides lanthanides are also called as rare earths the rare the word rare stands for less abundant it means lanthanides are less abundant on earth crust and the word earth stands for the oxides of lanthanides resembles with the oxides of alkaline earth metals and therefore lanthanides are also called as rare earths but nowadays uh, this word is not used instead of rare earths lanthanides or lanthanons are used because uh, nowadays there are or it is observed that we can isolate lanthanide in more percentage and therefore they are not actually rare okay so this is about the rare earths now next point is electronic configuration of lanthanides the general electronic configuration of lanthanide is xenon 4f1 to 14 5d0 to 1 0 or 1 and 6s2 so these are the three sh shells which are in the process of filling so this is nth cell this is n minus 1 and this is n minus 2 so this is outermost shell this is the penultimate shell and this is the pre penultimate shell so xenon has atomic number of 54 and you know the lanthanides in lanthanides from cerium to lutetium atomic number increases from 58 to 71 for lanth lanthanum atomic number is 70 uh, sorry 57 for cerium it is 58 so up to xenon the configuration is uh, same for all the lanthanides that is from lanthanum or from cerium to lutetium so this is the general electronic configuration here 6s orbital it is completely filled in 5d orbital there is a 0 or 1 electron in some cases there is one electron especially in expected configuration and the, there is a progressively filling of f orbital that is from 1 to 14 there are 7 f orbitals and each orbital has a capacity of two electrons and therefore maximum capacity of f orbital is 7f orbital is 14 electrons now consider the first element that is lanthanum it is actually not the f block element it is d block element because lanthanum its atomic number is 57 it has a configuration of xenon 4f0 5d1 6s2 here up to xenon there are 54 electrons now three electrons are to be accommodated out of three electrons three le three more electrons to be accommodated out of three electrons two electrons are filled in 6s orbital and one electron is remaining it is accommodated in 5d orbital actually 4f and 5d orbitals or these two energy levels have nearly same energy and therefore electron enters in 5d orbital and therefore it is a d block element the next is cerium atomic number increases atomic number is 58 and therefore incoming or differentiating electron enters in 4f orbital so its configuration is xenon 4f1 5d1 6s2 so 5d1 and 6s2 this remains the same and therefore up to 5d1 total number of electrons are 57 and this is the 
58th electron which is entered in 4f orbital then preceded ionium 4f2 next that is 59th electron enter in f orbital now capacity of f orbital 7f orbitals is i already told you 14 electrons now this is the second electron so in neodymium differentiating electron added in again 4f orbital so configuration becomes 4f3 for promethium 4f4 samarium 4f5 europium 4f6 gadolinium 4f7 remember xenon 5d1 6s2 this configuration is same for all the elements only progressively electron is entered in 4f orbital this is the expected or ideal electronic configuration now next is terbium 4f8 dysprosium 4f9 holmium 4f10 erbium 4f11 thulium 4f12 ytterbium 4f13 lutetium 4f14 now f orbital is completely filled now this is the expected or ideal electronic configuration for this configuration you keep in mind for all the elements the xenon up to xenon or up to 54 electron the configuration is same okay even 5d level contain one electron and 6s level or 6s orbitals are completely filled or contain two electrons only you keep in mind in lanthanum 4f orbital is vacant and from cerium to lutetium progressively electron is added in 4f orbital so 4f 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so this is ideal configuration now observed configuration is different actually for lanthanum expected and observed configuration is same xenon 4f0 5d1 6s2 both the configurations are same in case of cerium the 5d electron it is transferred to 4f orbital or 5d orbital is 5d orbital is vacant and there are two electrons in two electrons in 4f level and therefore observed configuration will be xenon 4f2 5d0 6s2 for preceded ionium now electron enter in 4f orbital and 4f level it will be 4f3 so for preceded ionium xenon 4f3 for neodymium 4f4 for promethium 4f5 for samarium 4f6 for europium 4f7 actually there are 7f orbitals here all the 7f orbitals are singly occupied and therefore this is the stable configuration again okay even here in case of gadolinium 4f orbital contain 7 electrons and therefore this is the stable configuration in lutetium all the f orbitals are completely filled this is also stable configuration similarly in europium observed configuration is stable because in 4f orbital there are 7 electrons then next electron in case of gadolinium next electron or differentiating electron also enters in 4f orbital but the 5d electron it will remain in 5d orbital only and therefore the configuration will be 4f7 5d1 that is ideal and observed configurations are same for gadolinium because 4f 4f7 both the configurations are stable and therefore 
observed and ideal configuration is same for gadolinium lutetium as well as for lanthanum now consider the terbium in terbium again 5d electron or 5d level will be vacant so this electron it should be counted with 4f electron that becomes 4f8 as well as as atomic number increases from 64 to 65 one more electron is added to 4f level and therefore all together there are nine electrons in 4f level and 5d level is vacant so configuration will be xenon 4f9 directly two electrons are increased here in 4f level 5d0 and 6s2 now for diprosium incoming electron again entered in 4f level so 4f10 for holmium 4f11 for erbium 4f12 for thulium 4f13 for ytterbium now 4f14 this is also stable configuration observed configuration of ytterbium is stable as compared to expected configuration so here 5d0 6s2 and 4f14 now in case of lutetium again the expected and observed configurations are same incoming electron enters in d orbital so this is the expected and ideal configurations of lanthanum to lutetium now here some highlighting points about the electronic configurations are 4f and 5d levels are so close in energy hence it is very difficult to locate the exact position of the electron this is very important the ideal or observed electronic configuration of tri positive ion that is lanthanum plus 3 it is same in lanthanum 4f level is vacant whereas in lutetium 4f level is completely filled that already i told you now what are the properties of lanthanides lanthanides are malleable ductile with low tensile strength they are good conductors of heat and electricity all the lanthanides are almost equally chemically reactive hence occur together and their separation is difficult out of various lanthanides promethium is radioactive this is very important only one element is radioactive that is promethium all the lanthanides are paramagnetic gadolinium terbium diprosium holmium erbium thulium ytterbium these are ferromagnetic all elements they form the coordination compounds with high coordination number that is 8 9 10 and 12 they are soft metals with density equal to 7 gram per cubic centimeter they have high melting points and boiling points Melti uh, melting point is approximately equal to 1000 degree centigrade and boiling point is about 3000 degree centigrade and their properties some properties of lanthanides these are based on electronic configuration and the properties are oxidation states lanthanide contraction magnetic and spectral properties and ability to form complexes so these four properties depends upon the electronic configuration of lanthanides and these properties in detail we are going to discuss in next videos